why am I giving this talk, right? Um, I don't represent Bridge Crew. Uh, I just think uh, having come from data, ML, Python being great, uh, that I started working more in infra DevOps, thinking about security. And I thought that was probably gonna be missing from this conference, so easy enough to stop you know, down the block and give a quick talk. Um, cool. Uh, hey, what's infrastructure's code? Hopefully some of you guys are deploying in cloud and thinking about deploying stuff. Infrastructure's code is, let me define, you know, via Terraform is the standard, but also cloud formation, deployment manager, etc. This is from the um, title of the talk. What is static code analysis? Hopefully some of you guys are doing that, right? Like, uh, let's look at, let's have something that takes a look at my code and verifies uh, that it's reasonably secure. Uh, generally that's from like uh, package management, uh, dependencies or whatnot, uh, but there's, uh, with infrastructure's code, there's uh, ways to you define policies via something like policy as code. Um, GitHub repository here. Uh, this is open source and usable. There's a website, checkoff.io. Um, you can pip3 install it. Great, it's Python, brew if you like your Mac. Found it pretty weird. Uh, it's checkoff by Bridge Crew. Bridge Crew is brought to you by Prisma Cloud. Prisma Cloud is brought to you by Palo Alto Networks. So, you know, uh, trace that chain, whatever. Um, Okay, why is Chekhov cool? I, I, I think there's even a talk following this on another form of that, right? I don't intend to say Chekhov, like, please use Chekhov, right? But, like, think about using something like this if you're going to deploy infrastructure. Um, Infra's code's a great idea. Uh, DevSecOps is a great buzzword. Uh, policies code, I've already said it. Um, but ultimately, like, if you're running CI CD pipelines for deployment, uh, define your infrastructure again, as code, and put some policies in place uh, from a security perspective to ensure that's the case. Chekhov's great uh, in that it works not only with the major cloud providers, but also uh, Kubernetes and more. Um, okay, so how does it work, right? So realistically, um, we pip installed, a brew installed our bit here. Um, we have, uh, you know, then have access to a checkoff command, right? Uh, here's two examples. Realistically, this is about uh, Terraform, right? Um, where I, and also I skipped, uh, I was gonna work through a demo, but this is a uh, easier to share this laptop. Uh, so these are slides. Um, skip whatever things if you don't want it's pretty flexible i guess is is what i'm going for here um you can skip them via the commands or in the terraform code that you've written feel free to annotate things and you can you know forego this bit um kind of the powerful thing and what i wanted to get across hopefully everybody you know you guys are developers hopefully you're using git but like use pre-commit hooks for a whole lot of stuff uh that works here um, I generally don't trust that people actually use their pre-commit hooks. Uh, so also, uh, you know, consider uh, after a pre-commit hook something on, you know, like a pre-receive or whatever else before things uh, actually make their way into the shared Git. Um, here's some references for, you know, those that aren't Git fans are uh, on board yet. Um, I think that's actually about that. And then, you know, here's a few other... Uh, you know, advertisements, right? Check out Hacktoberfest is going on, a way to contribute to a bunch of uh, open source projects that need some stuff. And uh, I'm a huge fan of Beam, uh, Python uh, based, but also a multi-language uh, way to write data pipelines. And Flight is, uh, you just heard about orchestration like Dagster, pretty equivalent, although you can also uh, use languages other than Python, which, you know, Python's why we're here. Um, yeah, here, just to uh, show there's like Python code under the hood once you call, check off. Um, and I think the thing I was even going to point out here is the um, actual test, right, from the, um, or the encouraging everybody to please write tests for their code. And even from this project itself, the testing code is two of these slides versus the actual code that does the thing is one of these slides. 
So like, you know, it's okay if tests are longer than your code. Um, that's all I got.